When I heard Mark Jacobs wanted to launch a YouTube channel, I said I'll do whatever it takes to get him there. How am I look? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. You got the full you experience. experience. All right, Nick Newbold, are we putting the dogs in? Put the dogs in. Hi, Nick. Hi, Mark. Uh oh. Yeah. Thank you, Derek. 72 <laughs> Spring Street, please. No rush. Take your time. Magazine. It's only has published a book. Happy to be part of this YouTube. Do you know how to drive, Derek? I know how. I have a Missouri driver's license. Oh, does that work in New York? Um, I don't know how to drive, Derek. You've never driven in your life? Well, that's not what I said. I said I don't know how to drive. <laughs> you don't have a driver's license, though? No, I don't have a driver's license. And I drove a car once out in um, East Hampton and crashed it into a telephone pole. I'm excited that this will be the launch of your YouTube channel. Is this a stoplight? Is this a stoplight option? They're all optional. They're all <laughs> Roll the dice. <laughs> it's not my car. <laughs> um, so Mark, what do you watch on YouTube? The most recent thing I watched was a video of um, Le Rita Mitsuko doing Marcia Baila. I, of course I watch like any show I'm ever interested in. I just YouTube it. <laughs> Old recordings, dog TV, yeah. The dogs watch YouTube? Lady particularly loves uh, dog TV. Ladies. Every performance of Natasha Leggero. I mean, there's just a million things. Like, did you know that you're a huge search result on YouTube, and your shows I? are a big reference? That's so. You yourself are not only a user; you're also a member of the search community. That is crazy. <laughs> oh wow! Is Neville gonna? Oh my God! My co-pilot's here. Either. Look, there's Bookmark. We're just passing your bookshop. I love the West Village. I mean, I you know I love New York. I'm a New Yorker, and uh, yeah, I'm happy that that. Bookmark is still there. I think that's a very special place and it's really cool and people love it. There are remnants of like old New York in the West Village. I know what a luxury it is to have time with you leading up to the show because traditionally when you're in show mode, you are in show mode. Is that right? Yes, you are very right. I mean, I'm kind of brain dead <laughs> regarding everything and anything. And so like, I'm just kind of focused on trying to help be a part of getting this show together, whatever that might mean. And I'm not quite sure what that will mean today. <laughs> and is that sort of typical for the creative process? The the sort of week leading up to the show are intense and late nights? You know, in some seasons I think there's just more energy and lightness and then other times it's more intense and focused and serious. And So the mood and the spirit is different, but the hours just get progressively longer. Is there, is there a person or a thing or a YouTube video, <laughs> something that helps you clock into to what makes you click? When There's nothing you can sort of rely on every time. Something, I mean, it could be a hat, it could be a new model, it could be um, a look that, you know, we're working on that just kind of inspires another one and another one and another one. But, um, you know, I, I don't think it's ever one particular thing. It's usually, well, actually, that's not true. It's usually a lot of those things, being excited about all the components, you know, in some way, and then, you know, sort of moving full speed ahead with working towards making that happen. Is there any likelihood that perhaps this collection, there'll be a, no, a new chauffeur's hat? After seeing you in the chauffeur's hat, it might be, <laughs> it might be a better millinery choice. <laughs> How has social media helped or hindered your creative process or the ability for a consumer to communicate with the designer? Social media is it, it seems. I feel like I've watched so many things and I've read so many things and I've participated, you know, mostly through Instagram. It's just the way it is. I think that's, this is one of the biggest changes in the landscape of the world is social media. And I don't know how much this really affects sales or I don't know how much it really, you know, like when, when I post a picture and there's like, I don't know, a hundred comments and they all say like, want, need, love, have to have, you know, I don't know how many of those people actually go to the store and buy that thing that they say they want, need, have to have. <laughs> it has changed maybe the way people make things or do things because if it doesn't work, like if the image doesn't work on like Instagram, for instance, then it kind of doesn't work. The feedback is immediate. It's immediate and it needs to be eye-catching in some way. There's a lot of people who have been hesitant to peel back the fourth wall and let the world into casting, design, show space, and you seem to be much more open to uh, revealing your process. 
last season, for instance, when we started posting so much about the behind the scenes and everything, there was a real lightness in the studio after a while. And more into it I was, the more sort of joyous and the more I wanted to share. You know, right now I'm feeling extremely nervous and, and very vulnerable. So I feel like, oh God, I don't want anyone to see this. But at some point, to, to a certain extent, that will change. It was hit that guy. What time do you think you'll, you'll call it quits for tonight? Last night I left at 12.30. I'm not a morning person. Not even a late afternoon person. It really comes down to <laughs> my energy happens like at around seven or eight, and then I can't sleep, and then it's like the cycle just continues. The show is um, one of the last shows at New York Fashion Week. As you know, we're unrolling all these fabulous uh, documentary style videos behind the scenes. What do you think people are going to be most shocked to learn about the Marc Jacobs creative process? Being nervous is part of the process, I suppose. And nervous is, I mean, fear, excitement, all of those things are, I guess, part of the process. But We are nearly to your final destination, Mr. Are Jacobs. We? Has this been the most glamorous arrival you've had? Absolutely. To the office? Uh, yes. How often do you get driven by Derek Glassberg? Please. Goodbye, Mr. So Jacobs. So you're picking me up at midnight? <laughs> I'll see you at midnight. All right. Bye, Neville. I'm cool. Peace. They're cool. Why did you have...